Okay. <laughs> Twinkie wanted to go bark at the birds or something. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so this is Jim and I married couples. Okay. So um, I'll I'll try and link it together for you. Okay. So we're on Jim and I couples 2022. Okay. So, um, so learning how to be more inclusive with your energy and being more open. I got that. Okay. So then, okay. In partnership, whatever is said in the past, or if there were any suspicion of extra marital things, it's time to release it now. Forgive, release. And that may take an open conversation, an intimate open conversation to um, ask your partner to come together with a, um, a, a blank canvas, right? To start over again. And speaking mindfully, moving forward, right? Okay, so, because I got a Taurus wife here that wasn't so happy with uh, some words. Okay. All right. So here you are, the magician, Mercury energy, right? Okay. So this is Virgo and Gemini. Okay. So that also is speech, socializing, what you're saying in the physical reality. Okay. Being mindful of that. And, uh, and I feel like that is the key to your success and how this fire will move, okay, in your creation. What's next? Okay. And this, this fire, okay, so this has been a theme here. It's, it's in 2022. Learn how to manage your energy, okay? So it's like, Learning how to move your emotional scale, learning how to speak better, more mindfully, learning how to um, release your burdens, learning how to uh, de-stress, right, every week uh, and every day if you, necessary, walks or whatever that is. So it's like asking for you to uh, consider your health, okay. Health is important too. Helping community is important, but helping yourself. It's like filling your own cup first and then offering it, right? I feel like that's very important here. Okay. So releasing those burdens and then therefore taking time for self to for your physical apparatus then that allows you to move that chi fire within you to have this beautiful 2022 that's here. Ten of Cups. <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm like, woo, this is a pretty Ten of Cups. Okay. I was like, how do we go from this to here? <laughs> Okay, so see, that's a big jump right there, and I feel like that's key. Okay. Okay, so the Spirit showed me something for me, but I'm going to share it with you all. Okay. So, if you're tired and you're not recharging, right? What happens is your vibration is lower and you don't realize your vibration is low sometimes, okay? So, and if you continue that over and over, then, and ignore self, then we get into things like the C thing, right? Okay, so the key is for each individual to learn how to manage your health and health isn't just going to a doctor. Health is preventative measures. It's, it's all of the things. What am I thinking? What am I feeding my physical apparatus through mind, right? Am I uh, giving myself love? Am I offering love, right? Body, mind, spirit. Okay. So am I connecting every day to the non-physical me? Okay. 
So this is a thing. If, if we don't recharge when we need to, recharging can just be connecting to non-physical, then what happens is the way other people interpret energy can be also received at a lower level. Okay, so it's like distorted. Okay, so that I feel like is critical here as a collective. Okay. And this is the path to the Ten of Cups. I feel here with this scorpion energy stepping in, what's important to you is um, love and family and your social connections. Okay, so it's like, I feel like the, the asking here is to put family somewhere in the vicinity of the next thing, right? So it's like me, me, myself, and I, and then family, perhaps, right? I feel like this is what Gemini is reaching for. Okay, something like that. And then the social. Okay, and that's been some things. Okay, social for some was like work. So, <clears throat> so it's balancing, bringing that balance card back. Okay, that was in another spread. Okay, so um, <clears throat> yeah, bringing that balance to everything. Time management, discipline, right? Being determined to give yourself love and... Uh, restoration when it's due but even before it's due right just making that a practice ten of cups in 2022 Okay, so here's Prince of Wands. The suggestion is, it's mutable, so be flexible, right? Uh, be able to mold your fire, move your fire within you. Okay, that chi energy. And then the Prince is asking you to be youthful again. If you've feel old and tired it's like bring that youthful feeling back to yourself like in that honeymoon period okay figure out how to do that picking up Sagittarius energy here and Chiron again yeah okay so all right so socialize okay travel but no you know always when you're doing that figure out how you can include um, health into that activity, right? Bring that into the mix. And I feel like you'll feel young again, like this young prince in this card. Okay, and the, the suggestion here is to... I'm getting dependability and loyalty, I feel like is very important here. I feel like the other partner feels like you have loyalties to other things. Okay, which we ha we do have to be loyal to self, right? But I mean outside of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like there needs to be a conversation if you've if there's been any question about extra marital stuff. I think that needs to be kind of buried. <laughs> Maybe not buried, but released once and for all and ask for that forgiving. And um Okay, so some people didn't want forgiveness because then that would be admitting. Okay, hold on.
Okay, so at least forgive yourself and then ask your partner for uh, a new beginning. Let's take 2022 to a new place, right? And then be inclusive with your energy. Communicate. Release your old ways. If that was you uh, dabbling outside of the marriage, perhaps either you either have to come to an agreement of open marriage or I feel like for some it's just been unsaid, but I feel like it needs to be verbalized somehow. You decide on whether you want that or not as a partner. It's very important to disclose that. Or are we going to be continue being monogamous, right? I feel like there's been some giving up on some some things. Okay, so getting comfortable around money, right? How was I raised around money, right? Am I doing the same thing that generations after my generation uh, lineage is doing, right? Take a look at that. Am I giving to my wife? Energetically and monetarily, right? Yeah, I feel like that's a big one. Okay, so I feel like on their part, they feel like uh, if there was something of that, it's like they feel like you might sneak off again or something. That's what I'm picking up. So you have to communicate that you that they're the only ones. There's only you, right? Is that a song? There's only you. You can't control their mind. They're going to think what they want. But uh, verbalizing and communicating this eight of wands, right, could bring that in. Here's the six of cups. Because I feel like deeply that person loves you. Yeah, wants to take a first steps to something new with you. But feels like you're just set for your whatever it is you're doing. Okay, so inclusive. Inclusiveness. Yeah. I feel like that's the key to your success in 2022. I leave you that. Thank you.